A strange turn of events here at the 2016 United States Disc Golf Championship between the weather and multiple other factors. The last round will not be played. We're going to check in with some of the officials behind this decision and try to let everybody know what's going on as well as show the ceremony now that the tour standings have been decided and the champion will be crowned. Stay with us, you're on Spin TV. We're here with Andrew Big Dog Sweeten, who's the tour manager of the Professional Disc Golf Association. Andrew, some tough decisions had to be made today. Can you tell us what happened? Well, we started early, well actually we started two days ago talking about the potential for splitting rounds. That was an option to maybe split rounds Thursday and Friday, but then the weather looked okay. Yesterday was dreary and rainy, but not too dangerous in regard to things like wind and all. But the forecast for today just was out of hand, even though in theory it might clear a little later and the rain could stop. The wind is still supposed to be hitting 40 miles plus. And there's a lot of old growth trees here, and that was our biggest concern was that someone get hurt with something coming down. I already had a bunch of limbs around my car, I noticed, that weren't there this morning when I got here. So uh, the decision was that we really needed to keep the players off the course. We looked into the possibility of pushing tee times back further. But with the daylight and all that, that didn't seem like a very good option either. So we went with cancellation today. Uh, there was a big push to try to get a fourth round in, and we initially thought about doing that tomorrow. Um, pretty much uh, my concern was what was going to be with the players as far as people with flights, hotels, the whole nine yards. And as it turns out, uh, the hotel situation is terrible in Rock Hill right now because of all the people evacuating from the coast due to Hurricane Matthew. So it's a shame we only got three rounds in, but it's the way to go. And obviously, you know, people are going to react a whole lot of different ways on social media and in this day and age. You know, I think it would give some people some comfort to know, like, what was that kind of deciding factor? Obviously, the weather, uh, the hurricane is coming. I can confirm with you trying to get rooms for my media team. There weren't any available. What was sort of that tipping moment where you just said, you know what, we're done here? The tipping moment really was the fact that the players and the staff was going to have problems being able to stay over. People can change flights, lots of flights are canceled anyway, uh, but the big thing was there's no place for people to be housed. And once it became apparent that was the real issue, we were like, so we, we had to do it, we just had to cancel it. And we're sitting here inside the shack, the pro shop at the Winthrop University, just atop the gold course. I'm here with Jonathan Poole, who is the event director. Jonathan, some tough decisions had to be made today. Tell us a little bit about what went down this morning. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't an easy day, but it's certainly one that I think is going to make us stronger. Uh, I think our, our event, I think our relationships with the players, I think our relationship with, with the PDGA. Um, I mean, you know, I think when all the emotions kind of settle down, uh, you know, I still believe we eventually arrived at the right decision, and I think we're all going to be better coming out of it. And what was that decision? I know there's a lot of factors that are kind of swirling around. Uh, can you take us through some of the thought process and what ultimately you decided to do? Well, the first uh, thing we needed to address was safety. Um, you know, we had uh, volunteer staff and employees running around before the sun came up. And um, not that the sun is fully up that you can appreciate, but, uh, you know, out here at, at dark and, um, you know, we just had to keep them safe. So we have a responsibility to the, to the university. Um, many people forget that this is not a park setting. I mean, this is a, you know, this, this is a state school. And so um, safety is their number one priority. And when we're out here, we're responsible for everyone. And so with the information we had to start the morning, um, it's not so much the rain. I mean, these guys are professionals. They can handle the rain and they can handle the wind. But um, these are very unusual circumstances. And when we were seeing wind gusts to 30 to 40 to possibly even greater, you know, we have to start looking at um, this particular course. And there are a lot of, if you've been out here, you know that there are a lot of huge oak trees. And we just know from almost 20 years of doing this, when they drop a branch, you better not be under it. And um, my family's here. 
Um, I know we've got a lot of friends and family here, and uh, eventually we just felt like that was too much of a risk to do anything today. And we were talking before a little bit, talking about, you know, obviously it's disappointing not to play that fourth final round. You know, you said to me, uh, your competitive spirit kicks in and the fan in you kicks in. You want to see this happen too. Uh, can you take me through some of those emotions that you felt since making this call or since coordinating with the PDGA and with Winthrop and making this call? Well, the, the safety decision was the easy one uh, to make. The harder one pulled on our heartstrings in a lot of different ways. I mean, you know, as a, as a competitor and as a fan and as a friend of a lot of these players, um, I wanted to see them play it out. I mean, that's, that's the way it, it, it should be. And, um, you know, I've, I've had a chance to talk to Ricky. I've had a chance to talk to Nico. I mean, those guys had a legitimate chance and, you know, they put themselves, they did everything they could do. They put themselves in, in position to, to win, but, um, you know, we really, it was, it was are we, are we going to call it now or are we going to wait and try and do something tomorrow? And, you know, this is an unusual event because of the, the media arrangements, the, um, the hotel and travel of arrangements of, a, you know, look at our international, uh, the international part of the field here. I mean, it's a, it's a losing situation for them financially to try and stay, even if they can do it. And you can even zoom out farther than that. Um, I mean, we have people that have fled Florida and Georgia and South Carolina and North Carolina that have nowhere to go. And so anybody that's here this week, if their room reservation ended today, they're stuck. There are no more rooms. There's nowhere for them to go. So I guess I feel like we are being the most responsible to the greatest number of people by calling this thing today, letting our people get out of here and get out of harm's way and opening up some rooms for some people who desperately need them. So, I mean, when you focus on what's really happening in this part of the country, it's far bigger than the championship. And that, and that can be hard for me to say because this is, this is my life. This is 18 years. It matters to me as much as it does to anyone. Um, so while it's not necessarily the decision that you know, that I would have wanted or hoped for or planned for, um, I still believe it's the right decision. Well, definitely we appreciate your time and your candor and uh, dealing with these a very difficult time, not only for disc golf, but for this section of the country. And uh, we'll take it over to Jeremy Colling, who does in the third round at 17 under par, he will, you will be crowned the United States Disc Golf Champion for 2016. Woo! What are you feeling right now? That's it right there. Um, this, the decision that had to be made this morning um, was one that I had a lot of friends um, from all over calling me, texting me, sending me messages. Um, before the actual decision was made with the original one hour delay, then the two hour delay, and there was just a lot of speculation about what was gonna happen. Then the round was pushed till tomorrow, and then there was a lot of backlash, and it was just a, a whirlwind for me to, to see what was going on. Um, you know, for me, I'm just like JP, I'm a competitor. I didn't want the th fourth round to be canceled. I wanted to come out. I wanted to prove that I could, you know, do it with the pressure on, sleep on the lead, come out the next day, finish, and then tap that last putt on 18 and be crowned that way. Um, but the decision had to be made. They made the most responsible decision. And it's, um, you know, to put words on the way I feel right now is impossible. I mean, my, my stomach, my heart, <laughs> Everything's going crazy, and uh... we love you. Jeremy. We love you. You obviously have a lot of support. You know, you're from just up the road, and I know this means a lot to you. Um, can you kind of describe a little bit, despite the strange circumstances, coming into this event? You know, how how you were going to attack this course, and how you're going to just get to where we're at right now i can tell you right now that the last month has been the craziest month of my life hands down um my my golf game has been um really confident i've been playing really well lately um the season as a whole has been um not a letdown but it hasn't really lived up to my personal expectations but um I felt a lot of confidence coming into this event and the last couple of events I'll be playing this year. And I was kind of almost upset 
that I felt all this confidence with only one or two big events left because I felt like I could really make an impact on the tour, yet the off season was coming right around the corner. So um, my confidence was at an all time high coming into this event, even though some life um, circumstances have been just really bizarre for me. Um, I've been dealing with some things that I've never had to deal with before in my personal life. And um, disc golf hasn't been the only thing on my mind. And I think in a way that kind of helped me um, open up my game and, and put it in perspective what's important to me. And disc golf is right at the top, but there's also other things that mean a lot to me too. And it, and it just, um, this whole, whole month, this week, winning the U.S. championship, the U.S. doubles championship with Paul Ulibarri, getting on ESPN when he hit that amazing shot over the water, and then, you know, playing well and put myself on the lead card for the first time at the U.S. championship. That was just amazing to, to see the scores come in and say, wow, I'm actually going to be on the, the lead card. You know, coming out to this event for the first time in 2007, those guys weren't heroes. They were gods to me. You know, watching Ken Climo, the very first time I came out here, I had a Ken Climo hat on. I had a Ken Climo disc that I was spinning the whole round. I was watching him, following him. I got a picture taken with him right out here. You know, and that picture, I'll never lose that picture. I mean, that meant so much to me because those were my heroes. And looking at what those people, the previous champions, what they mean to me, and never even really having an honest dream about being in this position to actually be here now is like, I, I don't even know. It's, it's, it's just un, unreal. When you laid your head down last night, and you were thinking about coming here and playing the round. What was what was going through your mind as you went to sleep? And you know, how did what went through your mind when you first got the phone call? Well, last night I wanted to, you know, basically I wanted to stay in the same um, rhythm that I've been staying in all week, which was um, take it easy, uh, watch some Game of Thrones, just take my mind off of disc golf. Um, basically, just be um, as relaxed as possible try to not to um, make the situation bigger than it was, even though it's as big as it gets. Um, I wanted to just treat it as I treat all disc golf tournaments. That way I could free myself to um, be uh, the player that I am every given weekend. You know, I just didn't want to make it seem like this was even greater than it actually is, um, which is hard to do. Um, but um, so that was last night. Took a long time to go to sleep. I tried to push those emotions past me. It was impossible. I was so nervous going to sleep. I was so excited to come out today, but at the same time, like, who knows what's going to happen? Um, and uh, you know, I just wanted to. Uh, I wanted to get a good night's sleep. And I woke up at four o'clock in the morning, and I just went through Facebook and I was just watching Facebook videos for about an hour. And I got back to sleep, and I was like, I need to get some sleep. Like, this is really important to be rested. And then I got back to sleep, and then I woke up at probably eight o'clock, and I knew I wasn't well rested, but I was ready to go. Um, and that was about the time when I started getting the calls, letting me know that things have been changed with the scheduling. And um, uh, the the original, the, the initial phone call that came in with the official announcement that the, the last round had been canceled was by Paul Ulibarri. And um, when he called me, um, like, I didn't know how to feel. I wanted I wanted to, to scream in excitement, but also like I felt for, um, Nico, I felt for Ricky, I felt for Eagle and MJ, um, you know, people that were in position to make a, a run at the title. And I know how much it means to those guys. But at the same time, you know, like I said, what had to be done was done. And at the end of 54 holes, um, I had the lead. So that made me the champion. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. Before we get to this trophy presentation, I'm about to turn this over here. Just want to give you a chance. Any final thoughts for your fans here, your fans that will see this when we post this uh, to the fellow competitors? Final thoughts. Um, the love that I've got from my fans is just, there's no substitute for it. And I appreciate it so much. It makes this mean everything to me. And I love you. Thank you. And with that, Jonathan, if you're ready, we're going to get right to the trophy presentation. Stay with us, and we'll be right back. 
you know, I would like to share a moment that is usually private. Um, I think I'd like to make it very public this time around. And, um, you know, Innova is obviously uh, a big supporter of this event. Um, but here, there really are no colors. I mean, we support Jeremy Colling um, just as we would support Paul Macbeth. We support you, the player and the person and the athlete. And that's what this has always been about. And I want to make sure that you know that. And um, I've, I've had those conversations over the years with, um, with Nate, um, you know, with, our, with Nico at the time. I mean, our, our, other, our other winners, I've always been able to kind of give them a warm and sincere uh, embrace and, and let them know that um, it's about the disc golf community. It's not about the colors that, you, you know, that you're wearing. You know, you, uh, you're a deserving champion. Um, and I also wanted to add to that um, the fact that this was, was cut short. You know, obviously, you know, there were a number, number of other players uh, who, who would have had a chance today. Um, but that should not take away from Jeremy's accomplishment. Um, you know, the athlete can only do but so much. And you can really only put yourself in position to win. And you did that. You played great. You played great yesterday. You are as deserving a US champion as we've ever had. And I want you to know that. And I want the people here to know that. And I want the fans around the world to know that. So that's not, that should not ever be questioned. You've earned it. I guess without uh, further ado, I don't know if you want to hoist this thing. There will obviously be no fireworks, but uh, I think there are fireworks in a lot of hearts, and uh, I think that's what matters most. Um, so I guess uh, oh, yeah, let's hoist the I would like to officially present Ooh. you uh, the title of your 2016 United States Disc Golf Champion, Jeremy Colin. This is more than a dream come true. Um, this is this is life changing in so many ways, and um, I just want to thank everyone. I want to thank um, the Charlotte Disc Golf Club for providing the disc golf courses that got me interested in the game when I first started playing in 2006, and for all the people in the club that um, have supported me. Um, the staff here at Innova, who have always been great friends of mine. Um, my best friend Henry Childress for allowing me to move in with him this last week with some crazy circumstances. Um, and um, I want to thank Prodigy for supporting me and really um, building the Big Germ brand in the name over the last three years. Um, I want to thank Do Squad, Crush, any sponsor I've ever had, even if I'm not affiliated with you anymore. Um, your trust in me has always made me believe in myself and continue to play this game that I love so much and we all love so much. Um, and uh, it's just, this is overwhelming. And, um, and thank you guys so much. I love you. Thank you. Well, that caps off a very raw, emotional, and unscripted morning. Yeah, simply unbelievable. With the conditions and the hurricane coming in, the right decision was made. It was safety was an issue, and that's the main concern why we only played a three-round event. But Jeremy is a very deserving champion, and congratulations to him. And thanks to Jonathan Poole for just being so open. And it was a very emotional morning, but things went the way they did, and I'm glad they did. Obviously, disc golf fans, including the ones here, are a little disappointed but that there wasn't a fourth round. But ultimately, I agree, the right call was made. We're going to get out of the weather. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been Spin TV's coverage of the 2016 United States Disc Golf Championship. For Avery Jenkins, I'm Jamie Thomas. We'll see you guys next year.